the ne uh, now we shall take off the uh, foundation concrete you see this concrete is poured on earth so you have to write it in the description uh, column the foundations are uh, the co in situ concrete the specification then it's poured on or again it's earth why we write this one is because uh, when we are calculating the rates, uh, the rate for this concrete shall be a bit more expensive because some concrete will seep into the earth because there is no prior blinding of the trenches. So you have to write whether it's poured on the earth or whether it's poured on a blinded surface. All right. So how do we calculate the volume of the concrete in the trenches? We have the, the the sections here. This is for the external trench. This is for the internal trench. Now, uh, to get the volume of this concrete, we will take the center line of the trench, uh -huh, multiplied by the width of the trench, multiplied by the thickness of the concrete. All right? So, uh, we shall have uh, the center line of the external trench, which is 39.69, multiplied by the width of the external trench, which is 0 0.75, then the thickness of the concrete is 0 0.23. For the internal walls, the center line of the walls of the trench is 6.70, multiplied by the width of the trench, uh -huh, which is 0 0.45, and it's the same as the width of the foundation concrete, then we multiply by the thickness of the concrete, which is 0 0.20. Right? So these two volumes will give us the total volume of the in situ concrete poured against the earth. Next one, we shall do brickwork. Uh, the brickwork, it's the, it's the one which is outside. You see, it's 103 brickwork. Okay? So, uh, how do we take off this brickwork? To take off the brickwork, we need the area of the brickwork. So, to get the area, we shall take the center line of this wall multiplied by the depth of the brickwork. So, how do we calculate the center line of the uh, brickwork? Uh -huh. We have the center line of the wall, of the whole wall. Okay? Do, do we have that? We have the center line of this whole wall and also we have the external perimeter of the wall. The easiest one to use is the external perimeter of the wall. Because if we have the external perimeter of the wall and we want the center line of this brickwork, we just need to take the external perimeter of the wall, then we deduct number of corners times the thickness of the brickwork. So uh, we have the external perimeter of the wall, then we shall deduct number of corners which we agreed it is 4, then the thickness of the brickwork which is 103. So 4 times 103 shall give us 412. So having 40.7 deduct 4.412, we shall get 40.288. So, 40.288 is the center line of this brickwork. Alright? So, what is the area of the brickwork? We need the depth of the brickwork. So, uh, to get the depth of the brickwork, remember the brickwork starts on top of the concrete. We shall take 675 to get to, to the ground level. Then we shall add 150. Where 150 has reached, that's where the foundation is ending. Any other brickwork on top is brickwork for superstructure so we shall take 675 plus 150 we get 825 all right so When we come to king int in the description uh, columns, it shall be, we shall take the center line, which we have got to be 40.29. Then the depth is 0 0.83. Mm -hmm. We shall describe it as common brickwork to BS 3921 in street, in uh, cement mortar, ratio 1 is to 3. The walls is height aha uh -huh, this one we shall we shall it there are initials it is height below i don't know brickwork so aha uh -huh, this one you shall find it in text on your video so uh this one is external walls for the inner skin we already done with the 
doing the outer skin which was brickwork now we'll go to taking off the inner skin which is made up of block work all right so uh how do we find the area of the block work we shall need to find the center line of the block work we, we have the external uh, perimeter of the wall so to get the center line of the block work we just need to now that we have the external uh, perimeter of the wall we need to uh, get now the external perimeter of the block work then uh, uh, find the center line of the block work here by taking the number of corners times the thickness of the block work or we can find the internal perimeter of the wall then we add four number corners times the thickness of the block work and the lacta uh, method is, is easier so we'll find the internal dimensions of the plan for example this is a plan we had the external uh, perimeter which was 40.70 to get the internal uh, dimensions of the plan we shall take uh, to get this one the external perimeter uh, we had we took the uh, total we used the dimensions of the plan but to get the internal we need to deduct number of corners times the total thickness of the wall uh -huh. total thickness of the wall to get the center line but if we multiply by two we shall get the internal perimeter i hope that is clear to get the internal perimeter and when we have the external perimeter we will first find the center line by taking the number of corners since the thickness of the wall then if we multiply by two we shall get the internal perimeter All right so that's why we have taken the external perimeter we deduct number of corners times 2 times the thickness of the wall which is 253 so it gets 2.024 so the external perimeter deducting uh, this one we shall get the internal perimeter if we have the internal perimeter we just need to add number of corners times the thickness of the block work the block work is 100 millimeters thick so if we have the internal dimensions the internal perimeter we just need to add number of corners which is four multiply by 100 we get 400 so this one plus this one we shall get 39.7076 millimeters meters so that is the center line for the block work now we need to find the area for the block work When we are key, keying in uh, the area of the block work into the take of sheets, uh, we shall put the center line of the block work. You see, this one is for the external walls. It's the one that you have calculated. So it is 39.08 and the depth is 0 0.83. All right. But now uh, we need to, you see, in the plan we had been told, even the internal wall is made up of a hundred concrete block work. So we will take off for the internal wall. For the internal wall, the length of the wall from here to here, you know the block work is, which is the, this wall is touching the external wall. It's 7.7, .7, just like you can see here. So it's 7.7. .7. Then we shall deduct the external walls. Mm -hmm. We shall deduct the... 2 times 253. Why? Because 7.7 .7 is from outside the external walls to outside the external walls. But the internal walls are starting from inside the external wall to inside the external walls. So we shall take 7.7, .7, then we deduct the thickness of the two external walls, which is 506. So we shall get 7.194. Alright, so what is the height of that internal wall? That one you always get it from the section. Alright. So in the section, uh, we are shown, we are shown that this one, uh, the height from here to above here is uh, 300, 350 to the formation level, uh -huh, plus 200, all right, plus 100 millimeters concrete. You see, this concrete is 100 millimeters. So, and from the concrete above the concrete, that's where 
our foundation stops so it will be a hundred plus two hundred plus three fifty and that one will give us six fifty all right so when we are feeding it to the dimension paper it shall be seven point one nine four okay seven point one nine four into two decimal places seven point one nine then uh, the height depth six fifty in meters it's zero point six five so uh, we shall describe it it's block work in solid uh -huh, weight aggregate uh, block works design using the binder with this specification uh, crushed strength to be a 6073 uh, the size of the blocks in what motor cement motor one is two three so the walls they are 100 millimeters thick they include the external walls which measures this and the internal walls which is the inner skin which measures this so these ones will give us the areas for the block works yeah.